on your smart speaker. iFix Mildura, always there for you when you damage your phone. Hit News Briefing. Hello, I'm Alicia McFarlane. Brad Banducci's announcement that he's resigning as Woolworth's CEO has come as a shock to those in the industry. Media expert Tim Burrow is telling listeners the briefing he's particularly surprised about the timing, announced just two days after Four Corners aired him walking out of an interview. A logical time to make that sort of announcement that someone is going to step down in the future is the end of year financial results. So I suspect if that was the plan, what's actually happened since Monday are lots of panicked conversations and whether to put off the announcement. Flash flooding has cut off roads in Tasmania, but thankfully conditions are tipped to ease further this evening. A flood watch and act alert is out for the state's east coast, including St Helens. Aussie wages have climbed again. We saw an annual rise of 4.2% in the year to December. That's the highest since 2009. The parole board in South Australia has decided to release Snowtown murder accomplice Mark Hayden on parole. The 65-year-old was due for release in May after spending 25 years behind bars for helping cover up seven of the 11 murders. The Prime Minister says he's pleaded the case of Julian Assange to the highest levels of government in the US and UK. The WikiLeaks founder has launched a final effort to avoid extradition to the US. Anthony Albanese has told the ABC it's time for him to come home to Australia. I put the view uh, very clearly that enough is enough. It's time Julian Assange was brought home. I've engaged uh, with his legal team on a regular basis. To sport, Demons captain Max Gorn has strongly denied claims of a drug culture within the club after teammate Joel Smith was accused of cocaine trafficking. Gorn says he hasn't seen evidence of a club-wide issue. For 16 years I've been getting drug tested, for 10 years I've been getting hair tested. AFL and AFLPA look after that and in that 10 years I've never been told that our club has a drug culture. And a hostile crowd awaits the Aussies for today's T20 clash against New Zealand which is about to get underway in Wellington. Travis Head and Dave Warner will open for the visitors. Domino's Mildura. Download the app today and keep an eye out for those special offers. This is Hit Weather. For the rest of Wednesday in Sunraysia, mostly sunny and 37. And tomorrow, mostly sunny with a low of 23 and a high of 41 degrees. And find the spy who betrayed us we keep. Nest of traders. Out now on the listener app.